welcome to Hot Nerd Network, the ultimate destination where we celebrate diverse personalities from the real world to the fantasy one. I'm Hot Nerd Sid, your guide through the captivating worlds of fandom, and I'm joined here by a special guest. Crystal, you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, I'm Crystal. I'm obsessed with Survivor, and yes. here I am. Uh, that's what the- was like... <laughs> like, what was your first intro to Survivor? Why are you a The fan? season that hooked me was Pearl Island. Yes. Very big <laughs> fan. That, it's the best season opener we've ever had. I actually have a note from this episode. I was Please. like, they're starting, I was like, they're starting on a, a boat. Is it going to be like Pearl Islands? No, of course not. Um, but, yeah, no. There's nothing like the first being like pirates and stealing dude, stuff. She sold her <laughs> gold chain for the chicken. <laughs> It was crazy. Pearl Islands was a legendary season, but so many no, things. yeah, it did, it did, and like they still did the whole jumping off the boat. I felt like that was giving old Survivor. Like they had the regular clothes. Oh yeah, they had like regular clothes on, and yeah, right. Yep. Yes, but no, so happy to have you here, Hotter Crystal. How how long have you been watching Survivor? Pandemic, pandemic. It was okay. great pandemic television. Great, yeah. I uh, new fan. Okay. Yeah, like Pluto, you know, like they'll have these channels that just like run a, every like a whole season back to back to back. Yes. And I happened to catch a little bit of it. I kept like catching it, catching it. And then I was hooked. Uh, yeah. Now everyone I know, I'm trying to also get hooked. <laughs> yes, exactly. You have to infect everybody. Okay. Like I, I love that Survivor. It's not just for people who have watched it since it first came on, but that so many people threw waves, like whether it was them re-releasing it on Paramount Plus or like putting it on Netflix, like people coming and learning more about the show and starting to like it. So it's yeah, no, really I, great. So many people watch it. Like I talk about it a lot and I'm amazed at like how many people actually do watch it. So who it's, like it's good. Who like? Do you feel like there's a certain demographic of people, or do you feel like it's really? No, not even like my boss yeah. is like a forty five year old like Scottish dude, and <laughs> he's obsessed, and he's saying like him and his kids are like rewatching all the seasons, and like when he at first met his wife, he made her watch. Like he into it, me, you, like I don't know. Yeah, anybody. It right? really, it really has like taken taking people by storm and it's so many different types and I, I really feel like it's because survivor features so many different types of people from different walks of life so really yeah. anybody yeah you could see and it and they're doing stuff we don't see like i recently got into big brother not to throw that in but oh, like survivor yeah, right. is so such a different beast like yeah i don't know and like, wait what, what makes you say that though like i think survivor shows us more of like it show a lot of like how the world is, but like because they really out there sh- like starving trying to survive, I think they tend to like understand each other better, like see each other's point of view better. But like maybe it's casting, but like the Big Brother people, it'd be like so much bias gets like elevated, which happens in survival. Really, like, I think being in the house, it just you kind of comfortable, so like it's yeah. really easy to spend energy in like ways that sound crazy but like on survivor they really use a lot of time for that (laughs) yeah like yeah yeah, i mean so like oh my goodness yeah Yeah, no that's so fair i i personally in i don't know if this is going to deter people but i have never been able to get into big brother and so much of my family who likes survivor or likes the challenge they really love big brother but it's so quirky for me and like I don't know if I it's it's just harder to just slip into it but I know it has deep deep levels of strategy which is why I want to like push through that but I'm assuming you're watching this this season with our girl yeah our girl yeah. Did you see Traders? Did you see Traders? I was just talking to Maddie about that. Like, I haven't seen Traders, but I know she won. Like, she did. I watched it in like real time. So like, and I remember like tweeting back then being like, yo, Sari is killing this crap. Like, she could do it in her sleep. It's like taking like a pacifier for a candy from a baby. What's the word? She does that every time. Like, it's, it's a, a true queen, true queen. But yes, now that we have our resident survivor expert here in Hot Nerd Crystal, let's go ahead and dive right in. We're going to first talk about just initial impressions and reactions as it pertains to the 45th season of Survivor. Um, Crystal, what what were your 
first thoughts when it came to my first note i i have a yes a lot of notes yes. uh my first note <laughs> out of the whole episode was seafood different i i don't I think she said I that a couple of times in my notes that periodically through the episode. It's so random. <laughs> Bro, I don't know. It's like as soon as he got on the boat, I was like, yo, like seafood different. What wait, what what did he do on the I I know I felt like, that way when he jumped off the boat, but what he, made he you he did, like he just different the outfit? Yes. His ex his introduction. He's so alt, like he's like an edgy boy, but like yeah, also very silly. Cool. I just know he get down with anime. Which I'm yeah, like, he, he can he can he's a nerd himself. Absolutely, yeah. he can hang with us. He's so funny. I um I think like mine was just really excited to be back to it. Like I'm like yes, this is a format. This is it's just like easing to the soul. Like we are in another Survivor season, and I really love that they're back to doing all newbies because I would have thought that for Survivor 45 they would have probably done like an all returnee season but like you know they usually do those big seasons mm. on the big number marks mm -hmm. but i'm glad that they did like they're continuing with the all new cast because it's so fun getting to know a whole new cast of people and like how they interact and like how they're going to deal with like i feel like we're getting the same sort of formatting but now we're seeing different people go through it each time like yeah, yeah, it was just fun to go into it. What, what did you think about the fact that it, it really feels as if throughout this entire from Survivor four, 41 to Survivor 45, mm -hmm. we're pretty much getting the first, the same thing every first episode. Like they get marooned, they have to do the sweat and savvy mm -hmm. challenge. Yeah. They either get their supplies or they don't. Right. And then they have to then figure it out from there. Like, do you like that they're doing that every single season? Um... I like that this time the sweat and uh savvy was a competition. Me too. I like that ad. That they should have did that a little bit sooner. But I, I really <laughs> like that idea. I really like that idea. And, but I it, I get it now that they did it after we've seen it a few times, that team that didn't come back with anything, they really do look suspicious because like everybody knows you're supposed to get something. Now they're telling you it's a competition and they look crazy, but it's actually the truth. So it's all right. You never I'll know like what that, to believe. I like that change. I like that change, but it's so interesting that you mentioned it that way because with any of these, like with any of these slight game mechanic changes, they're very slight, slight enough where you're like, is this person really telling the truth? Exactly. Or, or is this like really what was the game change? Because we they've all heard of the sweat and savvy challenge, but they've never heard of it being a competition. So it's like it's so funny. Emily, Emily. I I, Emily. Had Emily. I got a lot of notes about Emily a lot and like i don't even want to push past because she was the one who first got us suspicious about that but we cannot move past how suspicious she was of bruce bro voluntarily <laughs> bro, bro they was giving bruce a lot of hype i'm like he better make it to merge or otherwise they did too much to for no reason i mean my thing is like that yes I think the whole reason they even gave him hype was because he is technically the first returnee ever, but he's not really. He only lasted, like he said, 15 minutes on the island, but you would have thought this man made the merge for like all of us. He got an edge, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you talking about the dude that bust his head open on the first day? In the first part of the first challenge, like, hey, what are we talking about? The, uh, yeah, stop it. She was oh, like, Yeah, his he's mentally prepared for it. It's like, Okay, all right, she need, another season. She need to make merge or she's gonna be out soon. I think she may, I, I actually think she might make it far in the game. I hate, to I say think it. so too. I was literally just telling Body that, like, I think that they are setting her up in a way where they're like, Okay, we're gonna make everybody think that she's not going to make it to the merge, but like. Cause like uh, the way that they set her up, it's like, oh no, all eyes are on Emily. If old girl didn't quit, she was going to be out of there. Like, but it no, made me no, 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 no. We can't move past the yellow tribe, yo. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> wow, they had yellow a little tribe, drama. <laughs> what you gonna say? I never seen nothing like it. I, bruh. What was happening? First of all, everybody was crying every five seconds. Every bro, every five seconds. So Brendan, but but have you so 
do you know that Brendan has had a lot of hype in the Survivor fan community? Oh, yeah, I wanted to say, I, I know nothing. I, I didn't watch any. The only person I knew was going to be on the season was Bruce because I knew he was coming back. Right. I didn't know anything about these people, so my only introduction was like this first episode. So literally I'm learning as I'm watching and I'm just like, yo. I love that. Purist. Okay, so you yeah. didn't even come in with like, you know, different expectations. I will tell you this, not that people had like super high expectations, but Brendan is definitely a fan favorite because he was a part of the fan community. Like many people knew him as a super fan and now he's on the show. It's so, you know, with him like really crying during Ooh. the marooning and like- Challenge off the boat. I, I'm not laughing because it's funny, but like I just couldn't. I did not. I never seen nothing like it. I never. The way his teammate left him, I yeah. thought they were gonna be able to like start the next round at least. He just yes. like, he was just like he's like, like, and somebody else had to go and try and help the dude up. When they I didn't understand he, why he left him though. Like, why did he? he when they said he was having a panic attack, I literally he thought he passed out. Did he pass out? No, he didn't pass out. He just like I thought limp. Like they was trying to pull him up, and he literally like he could. He I feel like sometimes he gives. He might give up. Like he he might let his body like lie there because he did that with the other challenge too. Like that's crazy in the scenario. That's why I'm like. Yes. Like I thought his, that he like because sometimes they talk about the fact that when they're in the water, they take in so much water when they're swimming oh, that you could get panic from it or that you can like just lose all of your breath from it. But it was just like he wasn't able to calm down, no, and like it happened again in the next challenge. I think that he, his his anxiety just, just when he flipped over that boat, I was like, <laughs> is he okay? Like what's going on like it was so chaotic i i think i wrote from like last season, from your last seasons was everybody was getting meta back i said this is everybody's crying at the drop of a dime like at the drop like on? they hung like what's really tea like i everybody was shocked like when you got to the beaches it wasn't just brenda it wasn't just even the yellow tribe like everybody was just like we were never expecting this. Like what you, we got about like five confessionals of people like, oh, when you really come out here, it's the real deal. And I believe it. I mean, I don't know why it would be anything else, but well, it's just this like- cast, This cast is taking it so hard. It, it's they really are. It. And it used to be longer. Like they taking it so hard, like immediately, like what, immediately. what was in the water with this cast? It's like, like- I don't know. I don't know. Like I- I just know that this cast is going to be one. I mean, yeah, let's just start talking about the cast. Another another highlight for me was mm -hmm. Astrology Girl. She was so funny. I think her name is Kendra. Oh, she yeah, was she just like, about a Kendra. I am obsessed with astrology. What is she? I'm gonna be she's gonna be so bad if I get her wrong. I think that she's I said I said is Kendra gonna be like another Carolyn figure from last season. Oh, the eccentric, mm -hmm. like but very relatable. Yeah, she like got tattoos a little bit, like you know what I mean. Yeah, she does. You're so right. I never even made that connection. She could really give Carolyn teas. Like that makes a lot of sense. And she's already. I mean, I know Carolyn kind of fell in with with Jam Jam and Carson, mm -hmm. but she also was very much like wanting to keep the women around. So I I think that that is going to be fulfilled possibly through Kendra. Cause I loved, I mean, yeah, we have to talk about it. How'd you feel about the the black girl lawyer? I had thought of you. It you know, was so funny. No, that conversation between the bro we like lawyer dude, that was <laughs> Jeff's kiss. That was a great scene. I was like, wow. It, it was just like, she's like, oh my gosh. Like, and he's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, it's fun. Da, da, da. She's like, oh, yeah. like, what do you do? Like, I'm like, dang, she playing them. Yes. She, she goes far. No, I'm not saying she's my winner pick, oh. but I very much hope I I would love her to win. Absolutely. Just, I don't know. Right now, I don't know if I I think she will. I hope she does, but I think she will make it far. I definitely think she's making merge. I uh, I can see that for sure. Especially they give strong. Like I don't see a place where blue and red lose. To yellow and not even a little bit. They got brand. I'm sorry until Brandon's gone, but then he's gonna <laughs> for sure. Caleb, Caleb, I love Caleb. I think he's a good winner pick. I think uh, we have to. Caleb is so 
oh my gosh, I just felt I felt bad because Caleb and Sabaya, I think is how you how you say her name. Mm-hmm. They got stuck on a wacky ass tribe. Like that's just But they got on a wacky too. No, 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 no. The one time I that's was with Emily, when they were talking about the pyramids, yo. <laughs> the conspiracy I heard, theories. I never heard no conspiracy theory like that about the pyramids. I I never I would have been right with Emily, like, yo. <laughs> No, no. She's like, I, she's like, I literally never thought anything about like I, I don't even understand the question right now because I'm with you, girl. Yeah, no. She um, charging batteries in the pyramids. I, I didn't understand. It. I've never heard that conspiracy myself. But you know, to each his own. They she all, was really. They all, maybe it's all fantasy, but like, no, they all are wacky. It's just that they definitely got stuck on the tribe because in any other tribe, like. Sabaya and um not be forgetting his name already. Caleb. What's the- Caleb. Sabaya and Caleb, they would have been totally fine, you know, just being on any of these other tribes that and, and doing well from a, a physical standpoint and blending in, you know, but now they're gonna have to get to the strategy. And it doesn't right help that they see black people. Bro. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like and and like I can't. It just was giving, I, we'll get to it, but I, I felt like there was different vibes that like when they were preparing for tribal, it was giving, but we have to talk about the red tribe too. Like we've talked a little bit about the yellow, a little bit about the blue, but I didn't feel like we got a whole lot from the red tribe. I actually have red to tribe. Is that Bruce? No, Bruce is still on the blue. Let's talk about Bruce though before we move off of blue. How did you feel about him trying the whole drunk, crazy uncle ploy? Like... I didn't know what was going on with Bruce, yo. He so on the boat, his speaking voice, I just was so shocked by it. I don't it, he sound drunk, drunk uncle sound right. Like when he started talking, it took me like 30 seconds to realize he was talking. I was like, dang. Yes. It's all it, like muscle together. It was. It was like it was not the voice that I expected him to come with, like just looking at him. So but yeah. He, like, all right, he he got energy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. He's high spirited. Then they get to camp. My brother, you wasn't did you build a shelter your first time out here? Probably like, not. I don't even think he made it that far. So I was like, what is he? He got, he got messed up in their first uh immunity challenge. So Oh they their immunity. immunity. And you talking about move this here, cut that there. Da, da, da. Bruce might go home for soon. He might go home soon. He really okay. might. But my thing is this: I thought that he, because this is correct, right? I he did not get he didn't get the chance to go back to camp in mm-hmm. Survivor Forty Four. No, right? But I think they have gone. I think it was like the immunity challenge. So I think they had did like the entry challenge. Okay. And then went to camp, and then played the challenge, and then he didn't go back to camp. Wow. Well, yeah. I um. Either way, he had a lot to say, and I don't think anybody was really like, okay, you still want to be really leader. Not that funny. I'm sorry, Bruce. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like it, you're, you're not that slick either. <laughs> you're not that funny. Yeah, but um, moving forward to the Red Tribe. Now, remember, of course, we can't forget Sifu. Sifu's a part of the Red Tribe. That's where we also got the whole uh, storyline about idols. And, man, I am really... How are you feeling about Austin with this beware advantage? He should have put that dag on. I wrote wrote in all caps, put the beware advantage down. It's never good. It has... They've, if they've watched all these seasons, the Beware Vintage has never actually been good. I That's think, fair. Like, be a game changer and leave it. Like, actually go put it in Sifu's pathway so he can take it. And you're now going to, well, you wouldn't have been able to open it. You wouldn't know. But, but you, you can paint. Know. You can paint like the the image if you wanted to on Sifu to be like, oh, we need to get him out first. It's already being painted. I was cracking up. The, you were so right that this this whole episode was hilarious because when he was hiding in the damn trees and like looking at them and he got freaking caught. Yeah, being was- creepy. And the shorty, like I, I could tell the shorties is kind of like he, I almost think for them it's probably bordering like creepy which yeah like he is hiding in trees and stuff like it's really weird i don't know it is and it's like he's like oh i really wasn't there but it's like this is your first impressions of somebody it's not like you really got to know his charisma yeah. or anything mm-hmm. but he was definitely giving tony vibes just running around having like yeah. he just looks like he's having so much fun yeah. out there um and then what did you think about um i kind of remember his name drew he was talking about him and like his 
he has two sides to him. I was like, what is this? Oh, yeah. What I'm talking about. And I like, do remember. He's like, I, that's all I remember about him, though. Or isn't he a lawyer, too? I feel like there was a lot of lawyers. There, there are so many lawyers. And they're all lying about it. They all are. Because it's really, dude. The, it wasn't him who was a lawyer. It was the uh, the one who's giving more motherly vibes, Julie. <sighs> yes, she's yes, she lying. Attorney. She's saying she's art. Teach art. She's class. like, I'm about art. Teach your yeah. mother, you know. I was like, okay, Julie, you got a little game she's to you. She lost at forty one. She she got grit. You know what? Put her up. She might make it to the final. Shorty got a uh, persistence. I'll tell you that. Absolutely, and like that makes sense though because she. I mean, one, we have to. Uh, does the audience know that this is your profession as well too? So like, <laughs> I know you. Like, do you think that because this is your profession, like you would be able to spot other lawyers out there on the island? Honestly, that's a tough. Honestly, yeah, that's a good question. Maybe. Yeah, it depends. It depends on how they moving for real. That's fair. Like I don't know. Like if you would, if you would be catching, I want to, I want to get her name right. Oh, I think right, Katura. Yes. Like I don't. Like I don't know. She was. She was playing she was a good. game. She was good. She was good. She was She's good. like I'm an office assistant, so it's yeah. like okay, you know. But mm -hmm. um, yeah. any other thoughts about Red Tribe? Um, I really don't remember who was on there. Yeah, we have like Austin, we have Sifu, we got Drew, and then we really didn't get to meet, um, I mean, we got to meet Julie a little bit, but we really didn't get to meet J or D that much outside of D being like, yeah, I'm a fiery Latina. Like, it's like, okay. Oh, she was the shorty who was kind of creeped out by Sifu. Oh, very much so. Like, yeah. she is not feeling that. But yes, okay, so we have met our initial tribe, but um, now let's get into us, you know, getting into the first immunity challenge and oh, yeah. wow i mean it was so interesting to see just the struggles yeah let me again. go to my notes let me go to the notes uh -huh. the struggles again with the yellow tribe i think their name is lulu i was like That's yellow right yeah, yeah. Like, lulu is not <laughs> the strongest tribe literally here it goes here it goes here it goes it's um it goes with uh one again it says seafood different yes um then i'm I, the first one i have is they be hitting that mud kind of crazy like they was <laughs> flying down the thingy thing hitting the mud crazy like face first it's just, the girl that hit face first i didn't think she was gonna get up i didn't think she was I, was so, I was so confused like i was like can't y'all choose to just slide down with your feet? face first then um, I have uh, Caleb is the best thing yellow team has. I, Bro, I, I said Caleb that. is the MVP. Like, come on. The girl, uh, Sabaya, wasn't she a former Marine? Why is she uh, so. falling back? She falling back down. I said, how long has she been out? <laughs> she falling down the thingy. Don't y'all do that in, in training? One of the she baby. does. She yes, I think. My whole face <laughs> and then hit the ground. I'm like, golly. Yeah, she was she struggling too. I couldn't understand. Like Caleb, though, he was the MVP. He was pulling people up. Lord. He was running up. He was Lord. like going back and forth. Yeah, we got Brandon. Brandon. I have his Brandon. Okay, all caps. Damn. <laughs> I think that's when he came down through the mud. I think that's when that happened. Then I have Brandon. Got to go. Yes. Got to at that bottom again. I'm like, nah. I was like, whoa. And then then you know Jeff. So one of the one of my favorite things that I've ever heard Jeff dis like like somebody's description of Jeff. I what this guy used to date in college, he was like, This man must might be the best commentator on live TV because when he is commentating the actual challenges, he is so quick. Like yeah. he literally was like, it would take a miracle for Lulu to win at this point. I was like, damn, Jeff, that's so fun to say. Like, but it really would no, take them a miracle. Wrong, he, for Brandon might gotta go. Like, they not ever gonna win no challenges with Brandon. With he has now every chance he get, he crying, yes. and he's not little. So it's very hard to pull him or carry him through a challenge. You can't. He's such a big guy. And like, Jeff was literally like, push through, Brandon. You can do it. Like, it was like, just get up. Because he was like, he went he can't. there. Yeah, he can't. <laughs> I think we have learned from this first episode. Brandon can't get up. That's it. That's it's it's so over. hard. It's so not hard. He is so crazy. Like, and then I was like, the fact that um, 
I think it was Asia picked Brandon is hilarious or picked him up. I don't even know. I don't even know what I said there, but oh, no, he, he couldn't get up. Down. He be falling down. He was falling he down. He like paralyzed with anxiety, I guess. It is, but like it, I think it's one of those things that's a bit more crippling for him. And so I just need him to step his cookies up, step his confidence up. Um, and you know, I thought that Hannah was going to be a good foil for him to be able to do that so that he felt comfortable, but I think he's just getting inside his own head. But I hope that he has honestly like an Aubrey story. Did you ever watch um, Aubrey's first season, um, mm -hmm. Beauty versus Bray versus Bra with Michelle? Michelle Fitzgerald, yeah. like I think that was C like Kyle Rong. Yeah, she remember she that was, was like first 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 bra? it was like the second one, the second time they did that version. Oh, okay. But it's usually um, okay. Survivor Kyle Rong, like how people remember it. And if you remember, mm -hmm, she was mm -hmm, hyperventilating, mm -hmm. like she was hyperventilating so much. And like, it was like, okay, everything's gonna be okay. No, you don't have like to worry. So. I, I, I'm sorry, I ain't seen. I have not. I know what you're talking about. This was different. Yeah, it was to the point where like we're gonna call medical in here because I was like, literally, did he pat like? Did he pass out? He, he said he blacked out. He said from he said he he said he only remembers being on the ladder. He's like, I don't remember getting off the boat. I just remember being on the ladder. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you know how many steps was in them two actions? Though he yeah. like he literally is blanking, but I think it's just. I got to look it up if that's just extreme anxiety. Like, I don't know, but he's literally blacking it's, out. And, uh, it's got to be, it's just like, it's crazy. I, I I hope now that he's made it past his first week, maybe that will ease some of it. And like, hopefully he can like overcome it. But yeah. wow. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping he has an Aubrey come, bra come back and like his social game seems so good. And I'm just hoping that that can carry him through. But Yellow Trap will have no choice but to bow him out if they keep losing the way that they are. And so, you know, it's, it's one of those things where we go back to the camp before tribal we're following yellow throughout the entire time first off we didn't even talk about one of the most hilarious exchanges i've seen on tv when it comes to brandon and hannah because yeah. hannah came out of nowhere and she in crying. Oh, everybody's crying i was like um what's it called don't get when me she first on the final on the tribal not the final on the tribal crying i'm stop it everybody's crying everybody's Bro, crying. everybody's crying i had to, i had written down here she, some of her quotes this is actually not from before tribal this was from when they first came on to the camp she was like i am so stressed and she was like everybody's complaining but like this is fucking funny but i it is not funny to me and then she was like i've done hard things like I'm literally like, <laughs> then they, yeah literally they're walking around i can do hard things like I oh, you're therapist? i'm like good grief like y'all i don't know if you can do this hard thing but um yes she she is already not wanting to be there and she's like i she literally tells brandon up front like i want to go sleep in a bed tonight and i was like oh what does she think yo that's what i'm saying like are we gonna get our first quit like it was so interesting because you know she was also talking about having nicotine withdrawals and i'm like i don't like what I think that they were, wouldn't you have already been feeling that like on P Ponderosa, you know, but I guess because now they don't, don't have a at Ponderosa, don't you think? But you know, I don't know. Maybe that is, but don't you think that the other castaways would have said something or maybe she was just doing it alone in her She's room? Probably She's probably vaping in her room. That's so true. Yeah. But now she was just like, I cannot do it. She was like, if y'all just want to vote me out. But I mean, Brandon was making a good point. Like, I think Brandon and uh, Brandon was like, no, I need you here. And he's like, we no, don't need. No, no. You don't think so? You thought he was trying to push her out? No, I do think what he was saying was true. I'm just saying that's not who Brandon needed to be hooked up with. So honestly, this is true. what did not need her. She was weak minded. He's weak in other ways. Like they didn't need to be teamed up. He need to because, get with, like Caleb or somebody, honestly. Yeah, somebody who was going to be inspiring to him because they were just wearing each other down, freaking each other out. But I think he enjoyed the kind of role of taking care of her. Mm -hmm. But like, still, you're right. He didn't need to be surrounded. By her. What's going on? Nobody's building a shelter. Yellow didn't no, have one. They did. They like. It's like y'all are just not focused on the right things. If y'all want to fix your problem, she, she, yes. with this team, they never going to have anything. Nothing. But like. I was genuinely like, because 
you know, she says that to him, but then Brandon, his anxiety just hits a thou. And I think he was like, I, I can't really, I don't want to be wrong, but I was like, he was having some sort of meltdown at camp. And I think that he was just like, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I feel yeah, like, like I'm chest. Oh my god. He like, oh my. he like, I'm like, is he having a heart attack? Like, what's going on? And I literally wrote, How did Brandon get cleared medically? Like, I I, I did. Panic. that sound like a panic attack. If he think he having a like yeah. he think he having a heart attack, but he just he just needs his breathing exercises. But you know, then we get to um because you know, they are already all planned, like, okay, we're gonna probably vote out emily but then because they didn't want to leave they, they wanted to keep brandon i know that sabaya and caleb wanted to keep brandon but then you know brandon's having his hyperventilation and caleb's like all right maybe we need to you know consider brandon because um you know he's not really believing in himself he's so down on himself and like he, mm -hmm. he's blaming himself for them for the challenge being done but then you know i was it was just crazy because then emily Emily just starts to go on her rant like, yeah. We be unloading the clip quick. Like it and it feel like it come out of nowhere. She be like, oh, they besties now. Da 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 da. They didn't I was like... us. Da, da, da. First of all, not to make it a, a race thing. I, let's talk about, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Please. I don't know. I don't know, Emily. So I, I was like, I, I meant to look it up. I don't know if it's the new Jim Crow or whatever is that book that talks about why black people sit together in like the lunchroom. Oh. It's like, I'm going to need her to go read either that book or that section of a book because what you're seeing of a ha ha key key could just genuinely be off of the shared culture of blackness. That doesn't mean that they are quote unquote allied with each other but you're going to continue to push them together if you keep singling them out and not yeah. actually wanting to work with them like i don't even think that she has made i haven't at least seen i mean they haven't showed us that she's made any strides to meet or meet with them one-on-one -on -one and that they've given her vibes that they didn't want to like you know be aligned with her you know so it's like she's automatically writing off I, their I shared camaraderie be aligned with her. that's number one that's fair. Yeah, no, nobody want to align with her. She knows she don't fit in. They know she doesn't fit in. So they all clear on that. Then he's so, still like she would have. She's probably lonely out there and hates that she gets to witness this bromance going on. Yes, yes literally, literally. And they're both strong competitors. Yeah, they're they not going to on the island together by themselves and said they didn't bring nothing back. She think they lying like all these things. There's so but, much. Yeah, you're right. She got too much energy for black people though. That's what I really don't like. She got a lot of energy for black people. Bruce, now Sabaya, now Ka it's Kayla. All of them except for Katur. He, she done she, 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 she done got uh, hot on every black person except for uh, the lawyer girl. She has, but it feels so unconscious. This is like when we talk about like she's I such agree. a great like she's such a great poster child for unconscious bias, and it's like you're you just seem a little bit ignorant in the fact that like they are literally could have a lot of chemistry just off the straight that they're black. That does not mean they're aligned, you know, like they, they, they are now like for right. sure, for sure. But she just wrote it off so quickly in the beginning. I'm like, yeah, you just really didn't give it a chance, but you know, it is to each his own. And then we, we actually move. They, they say, okay, we're going to keep Emily because they're not even thinking about Hannah. They're like, Hannah's complaining. What are we? And it came out of nowhere. The Hannah stuff really felt like it came out of nowhere. It did. And it, it, they had, from, you would agree, right? That they were going to vote out Emily and have Brandon as the decoy. Like, that was going to be the the ploy. Like, yeah. I, you would agree with that. Okay, cool. So then we go to Tribal Council. One, the set looks amazing, as <laughs> usual. Like, I'm like, again. Even art art team y'all y'all do it every time okay but um they get there and hannah doesn't even let up for a second she's like yeah well no she she, no, she, she didn't let it play out a little bit no 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 she no. did let I it play out crazy and it reconfirms how i feel about emily number one uh, in she, what way she was like really doubling down on it she was like, yeah, those two, she, she's one of those that really likes to be like, I ha I have something, I, I see something, I say something. And it's like, Emily, yeah. I get it. You've seen it. But if you want to play the game of Survivor, just keep it to yourself a little bit. But again, maybe this is a strategy that's going to actually work for her. I, I really, I agree with you that she's I think that she's going to make it. Mm. 
she's kind of giving mm, Corinne vibes a little bit, but like way yes. less. <laughs> she's way less likable, I think, probably to her castmates, even though I don't think everybody loved Corinne and her like at the tribe. But like, yeah, I think across screen, Corinne was better on screen. Yeah, I feel like she really star while and at the tri at the final tribe. But yeah, you know I mean, like, oh, yes, um, though. I completely agree. I agree. Like yeah. she is giving Corinne, like especially she's not as catty as Corinne, but yeah. she is like Corinne likes to call stuff out, like she does. And like um, the 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 tribe, the previous tribe or castmate that she uh, said that she wanted to be the most like was Cass. Funny enough, and she does give Cass vibes as well. Cass was a little yeah, bit more actually. boy, but Cass was also one of them to be like, here's what it is, here's how I feel. So oh, Cass I, is kind of funny. No, Cass, Cass is honestly kind of legendary. Funny. I ain't gonna lie, I forgot about Cass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I miss her. I do miss her on our screen. I miss a lot of them. I, I, I am very. I, I want to return this season soon. Me like, too. I need to be next season, Jeff. Please, please next Jeff. Season. Next season, please, Survivor. I because I miss it. I really do too. Um, um, do a fans versus favorites. <sighs> Love versus water again. You could do a theme. We like the. Th I like the themes. I do too. I love when they build off of each other. I love the themes. Me too, because it's like you could do a similar format, kind of to how they're doing these last back to back seasons, and then still, you know, give us a new. That's what's so great about Survivor. You you can even change just one person in the cast and or run the exact same game with the exact same cast. It will always turn out something different. Yep, like yep. huge piece of this game is luck. Um, but you know, you know that a huge piece of this game is also not giving up. And Hannah, Hannah was not here for it. So do you feel like you you, you were already saying? that she let it play out for a bit. And I do think that we got to see people's cards, you know, like we were yes, able to yes. see that Emily was trying to turn everybody against Sabai and Caleb. Um, but then Sabai and Caleb were, were defending themselves. Do you think at any point yeah. in time, Brandon was at all the one that was going to leave? Brandon. Um, I think after, I think if, if Tribal would have played all the way out, yeah. I think maybe they would have sent Emily home because she really was coming at them crazy. But mm -hmm. I think it's possible that they walked in there possibly wanting to vote out Brandon. Like, I'm not going to lie. Fair. Like, Emily does want you out, and that's bad. But, like, y'all need to... If you start winning stuff, then Emily can't vote you out. Exactly. Also. And now you so, can link up with the other people. Yeah, yeah. It, I think who they should have voted out on everybody's regard should have been Brandon. If that's it were fair. Me. That but, was fair. That would have been your vote. Um, but then Hannah's just like, yeah, da, 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 da. and honestly, I'm with her. She was like, honestly, I don't, they don't have to vote for me. So I was like, yo, <laughs> she had such an agency. agency. Yeah. She was, she was just like, oh, excuse me. We can do this whole ritual, but right. Or if like, I'm going to go home one way or the other. So y'all might as well just let it be. And everybody like, well, yep, she could go. Emily started changing her too. She's like, as much, even though I just said all that and was trying to get them out two minutes ago. I believe mean, you really want to be here. Da 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 da. Girl, save it. Right. When they get back to camp, Caleb and Sabaya are gonna be like, she got like they first instinct gonna be like, Emily gotta go. Like yeah, Emily, they're gonna be like, what was that? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, it's so fair. And like, um, I was gonna say though, it would have been interesting if they still did have to do the ritual. I wish they kind of would have let them do it, like because I yeah. wondered that like, Sabaya looks so reluctant to voting out Hannah over Emily. Like, I think she would have still probably written Emily's name down, but because it was kind of forced upon them, Jeff was through with it. He was like, you know he hates quitters. <laughs> yeah, he was so done. Saying, Are you implying that? I no, she said it, my guy. It was not implied. She actually said, Nothing. I don't have, y'all don't have to write my name down. I I'm out I'm of going home either way. So. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so funny, but yeah i um she's no. gone she's, she's gone, gone and she's, she's gone. the first she's the 18th place of survivor 45 if it's gonna be it, it I, I you know she was like i didn't want to take the place of somebody who actually wanted to be here but you kind of did already in a sense like i don't want to harp on her too much because i'm here for people you know setting their boundary and not not doing it but it's like you know there's so many people yeah. who you were up against to be one of these 18 and yeah you you high key did waste a spot for somebody who 
would have really, really enjoyed that. But hey, that is Survivor. A part of this is our first quit of the new era. And we have had so mm. many quits in the past. Right. So I don't think it's bad. Like this is a great track record that after five seasons, this is like our first quit, you know? I don't know. She just I think maybe it was the editing or maybe like I think it just it came out of no like it did not seem like she was having a bad time until she literally no. Like when she, even when she was sitting there crying with Brandon, I was like, okay, they be crying out there. Like people right. be crying a lot when they be on these shows and everything. So I'm like, okay. Then she really started getting serious about it. And I'm just like, kind of the way she talks feels like a joke a little bit. So you yes. like, be like, huh? So no, she really, she's so lighthearted. Yeah. Yeah. When she really is at tribal, like saying, I, I want to go, I'm like, wow, like shorty, I don't know. She's, she killed me when she was like, I hope this is not Edge of Extinction because if it is, I'm out of here. I was like, hey, yo, hear like, that? Like, what did she think? My thing is like, what did she think it was going to be? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's so interesting to me because I don't think, I, I think as a super fan, and I say this as somebody who wants to be out there, like mm-hmm. I would love to play Survivor. And I say that, but it is so much harder than you think it's going to be. But it's like, I feel like I would have, I, you would like to think in a perfect world that you would have prepared enough for, but you really will never know until you do it. So I think that's what every single person was saying, and especially Hannah. And it's like, she was like, yeah, I should have never gotten off the couch. <laughs> something about this cast though, like, I, yeah, I have a little bit I feel like I haven't seen this many complainers on day one yeah, ever. Know. Like they really was complaining. They like, were. Just, Shut up. You know what exactly. I mean? Like, okay. Exactly. So exactly. The camp and start yelling at them. Like, what are y'all talking about? Like, exactly. It was, it was so I wild. Know. Well, I mean, that was, that was the, that was the end result. Um, what, what are your thoughts? Like, what are your predictions as we, as we, you know, go into the rest of the season, what are your biggest predictions? Let's see. Uh, I, I think I, I am. I don't know if I don't have a prediction about it, but I'm very interested to see where Bruce goes. Because yeah, I feel like they gave him so much. Yeah, and I'm, I don't understand why. So it's like, is he going to win? I think he's gonna be a pre-merge boot like it just I I, that's my guess that's my guess yeah uh any winner picks honestly Caleb stands out to me but I think he's gonna be seen as strong already so he might he 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 you know what okay Caleb might be like first to jury he yeah, he gives those vibes because he's a strong you can tell but you're gonna want him while you're on a team or that Caleb might be the first uh, person on the jury. Okay. You know, oh, what, what else were you going to say? Go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm still thinking. No, I, I think you're right. And I was just remembering to myself, I wrote it down here in my notes. Usually our winner is found within like the first co- confessionals, you know, the first mm-hmm. few people who give confessionals. So I um, was just, I didn't get to write down everybody's name, but somebody who does stick out to me, of course, is Sifu. He was one of the first people to have a confessional. So I'm like, could he be a finalist at the very least? I, I could see it Carolyn, if he's able to make it. Carolyn was the first person we saw last season. Yeah. You know what? Scratch that. Sifu might be the Carolyn character. He might be. I mean, there's so many. There's so many wacky characters. He really the- is, like, different, though. Yeah, like, it might I be love it. it might be him. It but, um, be. <sighs> was Katur Katur had a, a early confessional. She did. She did. I think, I think, she, I think she's going to go deep. I don't know I if she's gonna, too. Gonna she's gonna go deep. Um, I will put my money on her. Like I know you said it earlier. I did so, but it's just yeah. we ain't gonna have to. We it took twenty years for another black woman to win Survivor after Vesepia, and you think we're gonna let it happen in another two years, three? Years? I hope. I mean, I've always dreamed of myself being the third black woman winner, but I am not out there. And if it has to be, if it has to be her, I would love it to be like. Hey, I would love it to be her. Uh, I yes. agree with that. Um, Sabaya too. I really love Sabaya's vibe. She was just so funny. Like, oh, I, I gotta see. I don't know. I don't know. I I like her. I want her to go far, but. 
I don't know. Like I really expected her to be. She she impressed me at the sweat sweat and yes. sassy. But at she the actual the challenge, at the actual challenge, I was kind of like, yeah, I she she. Little, I wanted a little bit more. Just yeah, Caleb bit. was keeping the energy up, but Sabaya she started to give up on herself. And she a little kind bit of was too. like, not only wasn't she not performing how I thought, she was actually kind of bringing the team down a little poor. bit. Not a not. Poor. Not as bad as now Brandon, you know, but she was having a little bit of But um she was, and so it begs the question, will she actually do good at the individual challenges? Which could keep yeah. her in the game too, though. So but you know, we're talking about post merge and they haven't even made it. I love I I mean pre-merge is just such a fun time, just off the strength that you never know what's going to happen because you never know what I mean. In a sense, you never know what team is going to win, but I do see Yellow's going to be dwindling. I, I'm almost positive. They're going to be like uh, Carolyn and Jam Jam. They too. are. And like yeah. Shan and Ricard. Like they're going to be a two-person team, and it's going to be Caleb and Sabaya. Absolutely. I that's why agree. when they get to merge, one of them two, which I think it would be Caleb, unless he wins immunity, is going to be first uh, merge vote. He's going to be the mayor of Ponderosa. I completely agree. So, mm -hmm. and then um, let's see some other of these characters. I, as far as predictions go, I do see that. I love the tribe that the, the women's alliance, the September birthday baby alliance mm -hmm. going on on the blue tribe. I mm -hmm. could see that going far in the game. I'm glad that they gave us seats for it now. I so I would love to see three women stick together. Um, and it's it kind of giving one world. It was kind of giving remnants of uh, what was that shorty name? Kim. Kim. Kim and Chelsea, but who was the who? Sabrina. Um, Kim. Sabrina, Sabrina and Chelsea. Really yeah. Cool. yeah. It was giving that. It was giving that a little tiny bit. It really was, and because they all got brought together, and I love. Yeah, I completely agree with you that Kendrick gives Carolyn vibes, and I think that in another season, Carolyn would have loved to link up with Franny, and her Franny would have been it to the end with with mm -hmm. one other woman. So, yeah, I'm. I'm excited to see that, and I do. I do predict that they're going to go far. Um, I I also love. Uh, is his name Dr Bruce? Bruce? No, not Bruce. Brando. Oh, hold on now. Okay. Brand Brando. Brando is another like a, a little nerdy guy. Like he remember he was like the skinny guy who did the sweat savvy. Um, he was he was oh. just a cute little thing. Yeah, it's so cute. Um, yes, and then Austin. I mean, he's the one that got the i love the decipher code piece i'm sure he's gonna put it together he seems oh, like the really guy who found the idol. yeah okay um but yeah i don't know i i think those are really all my predictions if i have to pick a winner because we should we should okay, we should stamp okay. it right now okay oh if i have to pick a winner oh that's hard I'm gonna go with. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna just have to go with Kendra. I'm gonna have to go with astrology girl. I think. I think that she. I think I'm gonna go with her because I think she has the social game enough to be able to maneuver her way and be relatable enough to to not like be perceived as a threat. Um, mm -hmm. maybe even people think that they're taking her, you know, but from initial impressions, I think that she's able to ingratiate herself with her little weirdness, you know, so I'll give it to her. I'll give it to her also just off the straight that I wish Carolyn could have, could have made it. And I think that she gives those sort of vibes, but what about you? What are your thoughts? I had to pull up the cast to try and remember the people. Okay, I'll send okay. this to you. I'm going to do a final three. Okay, give it to me. I think Katura. I think she okay. makes it. Okay. Um, that. Yeah, who is this? Some of these people don't look familiar. Um, I'm going <laughs> to say. Who? 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 Oh my God. Who is this girl oh. right here? The, um, that's D. I think. I think that's um. I don't yeah, think I've ever seen that girl in my life. <laughs> or no, that's J. Singer songwriter. The oh, yes. J. Okay. Maya. 
Okay. I had, no, she literally didn't have a confessional. She's getting a purple edit. I'm like, I'm hoping she is going to pop out a little bit more next year. not being Erica. Okay, I think it's going to be Katura. True. I think it's going to be, I actually think the boy Sean, he was crying at the Yellow Tribe. Yes. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Sean. I actually forgot. Why was all he crying? Him. I don't get it. Everybody was crying. When they turned over him, he was crying. I said, stop it. It's like, okay, um, Sean, it's okay. Actually, no, because I don't think, I think the last two yellow people are going to be some, you know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to say him. Okay. Uh, Sean, Sean, Katora, and might as well pick somebody from Red Tribe. I was going to say, uh, oh, I don't know who's on the Red Tribe. <laughs> I'm looking at someone, but I don't. Who, who? Um, It looks like a young dude. Oh, let me see. He got on this. Oh, I do think I think he's like the Carson of this season. I forget his oh, name. Oh, oh, Drew. Like, oh, I he think his last name. Years. He's a yeah. His name is Drew. Okay, Drew. He's a little sweetheart, but he was like acting like oh, I the mastermind. He's the one who's in college, I think. Carson. He's Carson two point oh. He's Carson. You know they always have to have the little dirty boy. So Carson's final three, won't he? Say it again. Carson was in the final three, wasn't he? He was in final four. They got him out because if he was in final three, I do think he oh, might yeah, you're right. have he was. been he able was to win. Through. You're right. You're right. He might have been able to clinch it from Jam Jam and Jam Jam. Carolyn and oh, the uh, shorty. Who? There is an old lady. The mom, shorty. The Julie. engineer. No, no. I'm talking oh. about last season. She was his kid. <gasps> yes. This, what was her name? I, I so quickly Erica? forgot about her. Erica? Christina? I don't think it was Erica. Haley? Oh, oh, that sounds no. good. It might have no. been Haley. Survivor 44. It might have been Haley. Haley? Something with the H. Haley sounds good to me. <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> Heidi. 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 Dang. Um, it we was got close. it. Heidi. Close. Hallie is close. Heidi was actually her second place winner because uh, Danny threw his vote on her. I, I know. That. Wow. I, wow. Forgot about her. Wow. I forgot about her. Yeah. Edit. So my who did you just say had a is have get uh, might get a purple edit the D girl. Yes. D. Yeah. 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 Because they always do that. They always have a finalist that's like where did they come from? We did winner not see pick, that. Oh, winner pick Drew. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean that would be cool, I guess, but. I'm not really necessarily rooting for it. I'm just picking based off like what you feel. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, we're going to stay at this. We're going to re- revisit this. Okay. So write it down. Write it down. I'm writing it down. Or, uh, maybe one of us is right. Maybe none right. of also us is right. Also, remember that I say, what's his face? Caleb is the first jury or the first. Yes. I, I, I'm stamping that too. We're both, yeah. we're both on that bandwagon. And then I do agree also that Katura, Katura is going to make um, finalists. And I, I just hope that for her. Yeah. I, I hope it for, for anybody, but I really do love her vibe. So I guess that's it, man. Um, yeah. This was super fun. Any, <laughs> any last thoughts like uh, before we wrap up? I like I I was kind of like not feeling the ninety minutes because I already was like I oh, already feel so like they don't feel enough in the episode, so now you're gonna drag it out. Yeah, but I like seeing more camp life. Me too. Um, so that was good. But it they was. got a way to make it interesting. That they are there for twenty six days, so it's not like they hang around. It's I don't think they have a day off really from competitions that much. Not really. Like, I mean, they have some, but definitely not as much. Like, usually in the previous seasons, I was so sad he didn't do, like, 26 days, 18 people. That's what I was going to say. They need, number one, they need to go back to 39. I'm sorry. 39 was wrong. But they're already so used to, like, I, I bet it's so much cheaper for them to do the 26 yeah. days. They're never going to go back. But I um, I really want to see the 39. And they used to have, like, three-day breaks in exactly. between their challenges. But, oh, you saw, though. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad we, we, did, we mentioned this. The auction is coming back. You saw the The, the auction is back? Ooh, 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 ooh. So Pressed. I have gotten really into Australian Survivor. Yes. And they have a great auction. And so the way really? – What I think is going to happen – This is a prediction is since you're telling me the auction is coming back. And I think it's going to be how they do it in Australia. Yes. You know how people in America, they took the auction away because everybody would just hold their money to the end so they could get right. it. 
I think Joe's, Jeff is probably going to have to be like, there's not going to be any of these jumps. Like, you should spend your money for the stuff. Like, it's not going to be this. But what's going to happen is you, like, bid on a cheeseburger, and when you get up there, there's a note. Or there's a thing. Love that. So they not bid on regular stuff. Like nothing's just going to be an advantage. So you gotta exactly you get on something. Then it's gonna become a thing or whatever. I think absolutely. That's I, love. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. No. Okay. We're noting that down too. I completely agree because. Yeah, people, that was just not getting fun. There's ways that you can fix the auction. Like, you can even be like, okay, you're forced to spend this amount. But I do think it's going to be just like that. And they need to get back to that. Like, I was just reminiscing on Survivor uh, Heroes versus Villains, where they found in the napkin the advantage. And, you know, Danielle and Amanda were fighting over it. It was just, we need to get back to hidden advantages, okay, Mm -hmm. in the reward challenges. So Mm -hmm. I'm writing here auction but there will be a hidden advantage. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's just such a fun game. I'm so glad to be back on Survivor. Like, yeah. there's just so many visitors. You never know where it's going to go. Um, and yeah, it's just great. And I, I hope it never is. I'm so glad we still have Jeff. Like, <laughs> all the shows are on at one time, so I'm living life. Being fed. Busy. I have a big, a busy week. <laughs> what What are you watching? What's on your TV? Oh, Big Brother comes on three times a week. That's the only thing about it. It's such a commitment. But what else do I have to do? So, you know. And now, I've never had Survivor and Big Brother on at the same yes. time. Yes. So, and then, you know, Amazing Race is out there. I don't really watch yeah, it as really much anymore. It. I but... watched it last night and it didn't do anything for me. I, 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 I've watched episodes periodically because it comes on after and I'm just like. Right. Eh. Well, you, you know that the um, new season of Traders is about to come come out. No, so, have you seen the cast for the Traders? I have. I watched the cast assessment, and I didn't even watch the last Traders. So I need to well, learn about it. Of all, you need to watch Traders. Okay, okay, yes. okay. You need to watch Traders. But it sucks that you already know Suri won. Like, when I was watching it, I didn't know, even though from very early on, it feels like she's going to win because she was killing it. She was. Is it like Mafia? Is it? Is it like Mafia in terms of the idea. game? I have because it gives it it gives it a little bit um, but either way i will definitely watch it to see our queen two, Ray. the 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 other queen is coming for season two sandra parvati parvati and boston rob and, and though from big brother they got dan giesling yes Janelle, they got big brother legend like you not here they're Phaedra. feeding us they're feeding they're us Phaedra. Phaedra, Phaedra from freaking Real Housewives. Like it's gonna Charay. be crazy. Charay's gonna be on there. Yes, I was so excited. Like I, I, I just love that they're rebringing back these personalities that we know very well into a space that you know is going to be. It's, it's a if it is like mafia. I don't know it. Sorry, audience, if I'm just speaking out my ass. But like, if it is like mafia, that's like a simple enough game that it's like you can do it, but with the right people, with the the different types of people. Well, explain mafia just like in a quick. Absolutely. So it's like you you basically have towns people, you have murderers, and then you have specific types of murderers. Okay. And people, everybody's trying to convince everybody, like, oh, I'm a towns person, but we need to get this person right, out. Right, 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 yeah. If that is the, basically how it goes. Yeah, and like if the murderers win, or if the murderers are able to stay the longest. Yep. Um it be more than the towns people than they win or if the towns people but you never know who's telling the truth so is it like that it's like kind of yeah. it is like that it's up like they get to pick who they think is the murderer yeah murderer. let's say there's three of them if they pick a murderer right that murderer goes out but they can put in new murder like new people can get designated as murderers if one goes out wow they can keep rotating and like new people who really were towns people can really become a murderer true so oh I man think. that's so interesting yeah i gotta i gotta i gotta i i finally have a peacock password so i'm gonna be watching on like, there. like it was a really good watch oh man okay i will watch that and yeah we're just we're back at it we're we're getting swing of things we're about to be off the rider strike so there's gonna yeah. be a lot that's gonna be on our television including for hot nerd network that we will be covering for sure um but that wraps up our recap of the premiere episode of survivor season 45 thanks for joining us on hot nerd network where we celebrate the best in fandom don't forget to like comment and subscribe to stay updated on all things nerdy and be sure to check out the other videos suggested at the end for more exciting content Until next time, may the best nerd win.
Bye. Yeah. <laughs>